Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will look at responsive design in Avada. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. Avada is fully responsive by default, but there are also responsive tools to help you while you are building and many options to help you fine tune your website, so that it looks as good on a tablet or phone as it does on a desktop. Let's just look at an example here. If we look at the tattoo pre-built, it looks great on a large screen, and if I change to medium screen view, we can see the header changes somewhat. And if we go down to small screen view, the header changes even more, and as we scroll down we can see the layout has been simplified to suit the smaller screen size. How and when these changes take place, however, is very much up to you, through the global responsive options found at Options, Responsive, and the responsive element options you choose as you build. Let's take a look at the global options. These are the main responsive options, but there are other global options as well that influence how your site looks on different devices. The first option is on by default, as this turns responsive design on or off in Avada. If set to off, a fixed layout is used, but responsive websites are basically expected these days. The next four options are to do with responsive breakpoints, the screen pixel width when the layouts start to change. The first of these is the grid responsive breakpoint. This option controls when grid layouts such as the blog or portfolio begin to break into smaller columns. Next comes the header responsive breakpoint. This controls when the desktop header changes to the mobile header and begins to show the mobile menu. This is an older option which is only relevant for sites that are using an option based header. You have direct control over this if you build a custom header with Avada layouts. Then there is a responsive breakpoint for the site content. This controls when the site content area changes to the mobile layout. This includes all content below the header. This is one of the main changes for responsive design, as this is when column layouts begin to break down and columns are placed underneath each other for smaller screens. The last breakpoint option is the sidebar responsive breakpoint, which of course controls when sidebars change to the mobile layout. This option is somewhat of a legacy one now as well, as sticky columns are now the best practice method. The last option in this section is Mobile Device Zoom, where you can enable or disable Pinch Zoom on mobile devices. Following this, we find the element responsive breakpoints for small and medium screens. These are connected to the responsive preview options in the Live Builder. Here you can decide at what pixel value you want the small and medium screen previews to apply as well as when the element responsive options and visibility take effect. Finally here, we find the responsive typography options. Responsive typography sensitivity is a way you can control the responsive sensitivity of heading typography in responsive layouts. Setting it to zero disables it entirely, whereas higher values will make heading font sizes shrink faster towards the minimum font size set in the next option. This is called minimum font size factor. You can adjust the minimum font size factor by adjusting the multiplying value of the minimum font size. For example, if set to 0, there is no minimum font size. If set to 1, then the minimum font size will be the same as the font size of the element. If set to 2, then the minimum font size will be double the initial font size of the element. As I mentioned, these are the main global responsive options, but if we search for mobile in the global options, we can see a whole range of other options specifically related to mobile layouts. Most of these options are legacy as they relate to option based headers and menus, and so if you are using Avada layouts, they won't apply. Another area directly related to responsive design is also found in the global column options. If we head to the Avada Builder Elements and Column, we can see that there are defaults set for what columns do on medium and small screens. By default, Columns on medium screens inherit from the large screen layout, and on small screens they go full width, but you can change the default behaviour here, or on a column by column basis using the column width option in the various screen size layouts. So as you can see, the Avada global options provide a very granular level of control over the responsive layout of your site, but there are even more choices when actually creating your content. The key to responsive editing in the Avada builder is the responsive icon on the toolbar. Not only does this provide responsive previews for your content, but it also connects with the responsive option sets in your elements. Here you can choose from large, medium or small screen view. 
As mentioned, the pixel value at which the website will switch to these layouts is determined in the global options in the Element Responsive Breakpoint section on the Responsive tab. I'll just choose Medium View here, and as you can see, it gives us an emulated preview of the page content as it will appear on the selected screen size. It also hides any containers, columns or elements that are turned off for that screen size with Device Rendering or the Element Visibility option. If I choose Small Screen View, again the page content is emulated for small screens, showing what changes will take place with the layout. But as mentioned, you are also activating the specific responsive option sets in the elements. By default, options flow through the various screen sizes. So if you set 60 pixels bottom margin to a column when in large screen view, it will flow through to medium and small screens as well. But what responsive option sets allow you to do is to break that option connection and edit certain options independently for both medium and small screens. Let's just come back to large screen view and look at a quick example of responsive option sets in use. If we look at the tattoo style section here, as we mouse over these columns, we can see that on large screens, there are four one quarter columns across the row. By default, on medium screens, these column sizes should inherit from large screens. But if we switch to medium screens, we can see that here, they have instead been set to one half width. And if we come down to small screens, we can see they are back on default, which means that they revert to full width columns. These responsive option sets give you enormous control over your responsive layouts. For full details on this remarkable feature, please see the Using Responsive Option Sets in Avada video for a more thorough run through of what's possible with this tool. Finally, mention must be made of images when talking about responsive design in Avada. Images are pixel based and you will want to upload only the largest size of the image you will need when you upload it. But Avada also has an advanced image system where it displays the correct size version of the image depending on the screen width. So if a user is viewing the site on a phone, smaller size images will be loaded to save on page load time. For more information on this, please see the How Avada Controls Responsive Images document linked here as well. Also for responsive background images, please see the Responsive Options for Background Images video linked below. A final quick caveat here, just remember that because there is an option available, it doesn't always mean it's smart to use it. Having multiple columns on small screens, for example, is possible, but it's not always the best design choice. So think carefully and check your design on multiple devices. But with the right content, this feature gives you the ultimate level of control. So that's responsive design in Avada. Avada provides a range of options and tools to help you edit your content to make sure it looks exactly as you want it on all screen sizes. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.